on this bumpy beer tasting, I think something magical is going to happen. No, no. So, from Single Cut Beer Smiths out of, uh, yeah, they're out of New York, I uh, have softly spoken magic spells. Uh, this is a double IPA. It comes in at 8.6% ABV and 131 IBUs. Uh, this is about three weeks old at the time of this tasting. So let's go ahead in and uh, put it through the bumpy 50 point inspection. This cost me $20 for the four pack. I know some stores, uh, I go to the Packy, they're out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, I know that some stores are price gouging for this one because it flies off the shelves. Um, this one store in particular that I will not visit anymore, they were charging $32 for a four pack. So, all right, doesn't, doesn't, uh, Help you cause to be a cheapskate and try to uh, screw the public people because we're smarter than that and we just won't shop at your store anymore. So let's go ahead and pour this into the glass. Give it a look see. The color on the head is white, uh, kind of medium bubbles in there. The beer itself is this very orange and murky looking coloration. So it looks interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a six out of six for the appearance and go in for the aromas. It started off smelling really good. Um, the longer I smelled on it, more different notes I was kind of starting to pick up and it kind of became less favorable to my nostrils. Um, but it didn't seem to have quite the array of aromas. Not really able to pick up on what the grist would be. Um, this is mostly just coming from uh, the hops, I'm sure, that were used. So, first thing was mango. It was getting orange, like orange juice. To going into like a little bit of like that orange pithiness. There was like a lemon note going into the, the lychee. A little bit of that like floral water mixed with lemon. Um, and then it kind of goes into this earthy tone. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, Definitely it has some interesting aromas to it, to my to my nose. Yeah, so there was another uh, whiff of a uh, little bit of that orange, uh, kind of like when you just peel peel off the orange, but you still have that white layer covering covering the orange, and then all the other arrays that are in there. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten for the aromas. Um, just because there's so many of them and it was just interesting kind of not knowing <laughs> each time like I'd smell it I'd be like I'm smelling something different smell something different so let's go in for the, uh, the first swig so cheers
flavors are, I am picking up a uh, very like orange pithy flavor. Uh, very big on that. For the malt, there might be a bit of a crackery note. The malt really is hidden behind all these other hop notes in what I can only detect as a yeast flavor as well. So orange pith, earthy, kind of ends with this earthy herbal bitterness. It is bitter, but it's not it's not like a harsh bitterness, especially for the 115 or whatever it says for their IBUs, 131 IBUs. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, you, tongue can only detect so many IBUs anyways. It just depends on like how it's perceived pretty much. Um, so it's not like a harsh bitterness, but it is um, it does have a decent amount of bitterness to it, especially with uh, having such a high ABV at 8.6% as well. Um, what I'm getting, it kind of tastes like, like I said, the yeast notes, I think are coming through in this. Um, so I do homebrew, so I did make a pretty large IBU'd, uh, IPA as well, um, years ago. And I used Scottish ale yeast. Uh, so this, and it had the same similar flavor to this. So I don't know if it's just because there's so much, so much hops that we use. Because I did the same damn thing. I tried to make it 364 IBUs. So we used a crap load of hops. But uh, that beer, um, it didn't make it. But uh, had some issues. But the, <laughs> but when I did, when I did taste, when I did taste it, I could taste um, what I believe is Scottish ale yeast because um, you know when you when you pitch the yeast and stuff you get the opportunity to smell it and it kind of had that same similar smell to taste um, someone has a full body medium carbonation it's 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 different um, get some of the New England style type vibes to it but then it does have a lot of earthy qualities to it um, I'm gonna give this a 15 out of 19 for the flavors and let's see if I can get that to come in a little bit better there that's better it was super bright I should have done that being with um, the the body on it's fine full body so a five out of five for that. My overall is a seven out of ten. So for single cut, Ale Smiths, softly spoken magic spells. It's gonna get a bumpy forty-two out of fifty. That's gonna land this as just a good beer. So cheers guys and thank you for watching.